Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm sharing nine different petite hacks that I feel like every petite woman should definitely know. So I feel like I've shared some of these tips before, some of them I haven't shared before, but I feel like these nine different tips I'm going to share today are ones that every petite should definitely know and definitely use whenever you're dressing yourself or purchasing clothing for yourself. These tips are tips that help me the most when it comes to being a petite woman. I'm five foot zero, so styling myself and purchasing clothing is definitely a struggle for sure and I do a lot of videos like this just helping out women in the same boat as me just being really short and just trying to find clothing that fits well and looks good so I really hope you guys enjoy hearing these nine different tips so with that let's go ahead and dive right in so the first one is regarding finding tops that fit you now I feel like when it comes to dressing yourself when you're petite I feel like where we struggle the most with clothing is either jeans and so anything on the bottom or outerwear pieces but a lot of times actually I can really struggle with tops a lot of times I purchase tops or sweaters that are in a cropped version so this is an example I wanted to share this one I got from Amazon this is considered a crop top so it would be cropped for women that are regular size but for petite women it hits us at a really good length so right at our hips here and this makes it great to wear with like jeans you can have it untucked if you want to or you can easily tuck it in and it doesn't leave like a ton of excess fabric in the back which is one of kind of like not my pet peeves but one thing I try to watch out for is making sure I don't have too much bunchiness going on right here when I'm just doing a front top so I don't want it to be too long now on to some tips for jeans I have I think three different tips regarding jeans when it comes to every petite woman should know is if you have trouble finding jeans that fit you well lengthwise I feel like going for crop jeans a lot of times you'll notice retailers they don't do like petite jeans a lot of times they'll do cropped so and that's literally almost the exact same thing if not it might be even better than petite because a lot of petite jeans are still a little bit too long at least for me because i'm five foot zero i feel like i'm like extra short but if you look online you can search easily search for cropped straight leg jeans or cropped skinny jeans and you'll find like so many things pull up and so many different retailers um, that will have the length of the leg a lot shorter so on a regular woman it will be a cropped style on her so she'll have like a, a lot of her ankles showing but if you put it on a petite body it's most likely going to be a full length jean on you maybe even a little bit cropped also if you do have trouble finding petite jeans I have tons of videos where I review denim jeans which I can link for you guys up here so sticking to the same topic of denim jeans the next tip I feel like every petite woman should know is their inseam so if you don't know what that is inseam is just um, the length of the jean from the crotch all the way down to the ankle and I feel like if every petite knows what their preferred best inseam is I feel like it makes it a million times easier when you're out shopping for jeans especially online because that's one of the things we struggle with the most when it comes to denim jeans is making sure the length is good on us because we don't want that pesky little ankle scrunch at the bottom so for example I'm five foot zero so a full length jean on me is 27 inch inseam a cropped would be a 26 if I want it more cropped it would be 25 so whenever I purchase jeans depending on how long I want them to be I will look for either 25 26 or 27 inch inseam for me personally I recommend you putting on your best jeans that fit you well and you love the length of them take a measuring tape measure it from the crotch all the way down to the ankle and see where it hits and then based on that you can look online and narrow down your searches by so much and actually save so much time and money um, looking for the right pair of jeans okay next tip or hack also regarding jeans uh, I get this asked a lot. I always mention in my videos, oh, I had to cut these jeans just a couple inches. You know, they're just a little too long because a lot of times I'll purchase a pair of jeans. I love them. But the only thing is, is sometimes they're just an inch or two inches too long and they don't come in a shorter version. But I still really, really want the jean because I love how it fits everywhere else. So I have this cutting jeans hack. I mean, 
I feel like a lot of people talk about this or share their tips and stuff like that, but in case you haven't heard of it before, I get asked a lot how I cut my jeans. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick tutorial for you guys. So I bought these jeans. These are the Levi's 501 skinny. So I actually have them in this medium wash, which I already cut these, but this one I haven't touched them because I wanted to save it for this video for you guys. So uh, they are just like a couple inches too long for me. So how I cut my jeans, I'm gonna show in the B-rolls here. So first I put on the jean and then what I do is I take the excess fabric at the ankle and then I pull it underneath and I adjust it and look at myself in the mirror and see where I want it to hit exactly on my ankle. What really helps also is putting on different types of shoes that you have. So sneakers, ankle booties, heels, just something that will help you kind of give an idea how it would look like when you put on a pair of shoes. And then I mark it. So I mark it at the bottom where I want to start cutting it so I do that on both sides and then I take off the jeans and then I literally just cut them and then I actually throw them in the wash and I dry them in the dryer because when you just cut them straight it looks very unfinished and raw now I know that style is definitely in style right now a lot of jeans come like that but it always looks a lot better after you wash and dry them because the hemline of it becomes kind of like more fuzzy and finished more finished looking so I hope this was a helpful demonstration for you guys so that way if you have a pair of jeans in your closet that you love but you just want them a little bit shorter hopefully that was helpful next up also has to do with denim jeans one thing I always make sure when personally for me when I'm purchasing denim jeans now this may not apply to every single petite and I'll explain in just a moment but I always make sure the jeans are not too high rise so I do not want it for me above my belly button the highest I'll go is like right at my belly button but if it completely covers it and goes up higher I don't purchase it only because yes they'll make my legs look really long but then proportionately I feel like it looks off it's because I have my legs that look super long but then my torso looks like super short so I feel like I know the rules of thirds but it just doesn't look flattering for me also because I have a fuller chest size and I want a little bit of length from like my breast all the way down to like my waist I just don't want my jeans just to completely cover my entire stomach now this may not apply to petites that have let's say for example a really long torso some petites have like a longer torso versus legs so they may have like shorter legs but a long torso where high-waisted jeans will actually work in their favor like ultra high-waisted jeans but if you're just kind of like regular like me I feel like I'm proportioned out very well for a petite then I just try not to go for too high-waisted of denim jeans okay next tip does not have to do with jeans. I went through all my jeans tips, which I feel like that was like four. That, that was a lot, but hopefully they helped. Did you guys know that petites can actually pull off so many different pieces of clothing when you just simply add a heel? Because you're adding literal height, so you can get away with wearing a lot of different things that people say petites should not wear. Now, things like very baggy oversized sweaters or jackets or really long outerwear pieces, um, if you literally just add a heel to your outfit, you can probably wear whatever the heck you want. Um, regardless of that, you can still wear whatever the heck you want, but it's just really flattering when you add a heel. Again, you're adding literal height and it just it looks things just look more fabulous you add like an oversized sweater with a pair of denim jeans and then you add a heel to it i feel like proportionally it looks a lot better versus when you're wearing like a flat um i just think it just looks really good okay so petites have smaller feet at least most of us do maybe some petites have larger feet i don't know of any so a lot of petites actually have like really small feet and i get questions asked a lot do you know of any retailers or brands that make shoes for smaller feet personally I don't know. I don't struggle in this. I have a size six foot and I can get away buying shoes anywhere. So did you know that the kids section, now this tip you may know, may not know, maybe it's not helpful, but I just thought I would mention it because I've done this before, that if you shop in the kids section for shoes, a lot of times you can find shoes that fit your feet. So for example, in size size six in women's is a size four in children's. So I actually bought a pair of like Nikes from the children's section because I kid you not, they were $20 cheaper for the exact same shoes versus a woman's size six. It was either a woman's size six for $60 or a children's size 
4 for $40. Of course I was going to go for the child size 4. The shoe looks exactly the same. But that's another hack not only to save money, but to maybe even find a pair of shoes that fit you if you have really tiny feet. Now I know you do not want like bedazzled, sparkly, like 9 year old shoes. No, this tip won't apply to every single shoe out there because a lot of children's shoes are designed essentially for children. They don't make mature shoes for older women that have a different style, right? So I know you don't want bedazzled sparkly shoes, but maybe this tip will apply to like sneakers, maybe some ankle boots, maybe some shoes that you're looking for. It can apply for those. So I hope that helps. Maybe that helped. Maybe that didn't. I don't know about you guys. I love wearing leggings at home, but I don't know if you noticed, but even petite leggings that say they're for petites, they're still too long on me. I still get that ankle scrunch. I just don't know if I'm just extra short or if that's just how leggings are. I don't know. But um, another little hack to wear leggings in your petite is literally just take the extra fabric and just tuck it in underneath. I do that with all of my leggings, even my petite leggings. You guys, my, my own petite leggings are still too long on me. So I just take the excess fabric, pull it underneath. You can't even tell it was done that way. Okay, so last and final tip, which is tip number nine, is know which brands are petite friendly. I feel like shopping becomes a lot easier when we know where to look for clothing for ourselves. Um, doing this for two years now, YouTube, I purchased a lot of things. I return a whole heck of a lot of things too. And I share a lot of things with you guys. And so because I'm on the internet looking at stuff, trying to find stuff that's petite friendly, accommodate different body types, I've learned which brands are petite friendly. So where I love to shop, I'm actually just going to pull up my laptop right here and read it out to you guys because it's um, kind of a big list. So Abercrombie is extremely petite friendly for denim jeans, outerwear. Their denim jeans actually come in extra short also. So if you're like really short, like shorter than me, five foot zero, um, I feel like you can find something there. And then I love Banana Republic. Also Banana Republic Factory, they're a lot more affordable. Loft, J. Crew. Everlane is also petite friendly for their denim jeans. Madewell also for their denim jeans and outerwear, I believe. Old Navy is also petite friendly. Gap, ASOS is definitely petite friendly. Topshop also comes in petite. And the thing with Topshop is, is they run so small. So if you're a petite that's like super tiny, for example, like really skinny, really small, their brand runs very, very small. So I feel like for those women that are just really tiny, you can find stuff that fits you really, really well. I've also noticed the boutique Lulu's um, is very petite friendly. Like I purchased a couple dresses from them. They don't even come in petite. Like they don't have that option. It's just you buy the dress and hope it fits you, right? They're actually very petite friendly, which is surprising. So those are all the places I love to shop at. That's kind of like where I browse through the most when I'm looking for clothing. Hopefully that list helps you guys in case you're looking for anything that will suit your body type. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing and seeing these nine different tips for petites that I feel like every petite woman should know. If you have any tips or any advice or tips that you feel like every petite woman should know that I didn't mention in this video, please write them down below. Let us know. Oh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you back and I will see you in my next video. Bye.